problem 7 is 20.3, found in chapter 20, on linear momentum. In this case, you have an inventor who is inventing an ice boat. I kind of have a lame-looking ice boat here. And you have an ice boat, a person inside of it, and it has a tank in the back of it filled with water. So that's going to be your system. Your system is actually going to have three objects in there. The boat, the person, and the water. Initially all of this is at rest and you have some kind of mechanism that squirts the water out of the back kind of like a jet engine. So eventually you're going to have all of this water exiting the um, ice boat with a velocity of let's say v final because this is before here that's the before scenario where everything is at rest and then afterwards the water is you know shot out the back of this with some velocity and then um, that results in um, the velocity of the ice boat so I'm going to put a V sub B on that. It would be V sub final water, V sub final boat. You can use conservation of linear momentum because there's no external forces if you consider the system to be the three objects that I mentioned earlier. So this is after all the water is squirted out the back. Conservation of momentum means that the initial momentum is equal to the final momentum. Initially, everything is at rest, so the MV for that is just zero. Afterwards, we have the water, so we'll say mass of the water. Moving back to the left, so we'll put a minus sign on that. Momentum is a vector quantity. And then uh, the velocity of the boat needs to have the mass of the person, the passenger, plus the mass of the boat times the velocity of the boat final. And I think uh, one of these is the variables you're looking for. I think it's this one right here. Everything else is given in the problem.